Hey, oh, hey, it's Miss Susano. Hope everyone's doing really well today. All right, guys, so we are back for another character and response lesson. <clears throat> this week, we're going to start working on um, looking at some passages and finding how the character responds in a passage. Sorry, my allergies are messing with me today, so my voice is not doing the best. I apologize. So if you hear me clear my throat, I do apologize. All right, so remember, this is our anchor chart that we started using last week about character and response. Character response is what the character does because an event, because of an event that happens in the story. There's going to be a challenge or some kind of problem for the character, and the event is that challenge or the problem, and there's going to be some kind of response from the character, is the action that the character does. So our example is um, the problem. It's so hot that no one wants to go outside. So the character solution or the answer to their problem, how they responded was Julie decided to jump in the ice cold pool. So she solved her problem by showing an action of jumping in the pool. All right, and this was the other chart that I really liked because it also works on how a character does, feels, thinks, or says. So the challenge is still there, but it's just not the act, it's not just the action of the character, it's what they do as their action, how they feel, what they think, and what they say. So last week we did a graphic organizer that looked at all four of those parts. Remember, every story is not going to have all four of those reactions. They're not always going to have something that the character says. They're not always going to have what the character thinks or feels or what they do, but they'll have at least one of those things on how the character responds. Okay, so like I said, we're going to start working on some passages this week where you're going to read a passage and then have to answer some questions. So I'm going to do, for each one of our lessons this week, I'm actually going to go through a passage with you and we're going to look at those different responses in the story. And then you will try one on your own each day for our classwork. So today, our story is called Pinata Problems. Carlos watched his cousins take a whack at the birthday pinata. They all swung with speed and strength. Carlos had never tried hitting a pinata before. He was feeling very anxious about it. He thought that if he missed the pinata, all his cousins would laugh at him. It was Carlos's turn and he almost didn't take it. At the last minute, he took the bat and walked up to the pinata. Carlos completely missed the pinata on his first try. He waited for his cousins to laugh at him, but they just cheered him on. On the second swing, he cracked open the pinata. All right, friends, let me go ahead and escape. I'm sorry, I wanted to make sure that you could see it pretty big when I was reading it. So I'm gonna zoom in um, to be able to do the questions, um, but I have to be in this mode in order to be able to type my answers. All right, so let's go to our first question. Identify the character and setting of the story. So who was the character in the story? Go ahead and tell someone or tell your teacher, wherever you're at, depending on school at home, go ahead and tell someone who the character was. All right, if you said the character was Carlos, you are correct. So Carlos is the main character. All right, the setting of the story. Remember, setting is when and where the story took place. Did it say? Take a good look. I'll try to zoom in a little bit where you can see pretty much the whole passage. So take a good look at the passage and see if you can find a setting. Okay, it doesn't really tell you a place where it's happening, but we can kind of gather that it is a birthday party because it's a birthday pinata. And it doesn't really tell you the time of day. So let's just say the setting is a birthday party. Okay. All right. What is the character's 
problem. So this is where we're looking for the problem or the challenge for the character so that we can find out how they respond. So let me scroll back up. All right. What is Carlos's problem or Carlos's challenge? All right. If you said he had never swung a bat for a pinata or tried to hit a pinata, however you want to say it, and he was worried that his cousins were going to laugh at him, then you are correct. That's his problem or his challenge. So let's type that up. Carlos had never hit whoop, a pinata and he was nervous that his cousins would make fun of him. Okay. All right. Now, how describe how the character solved his problem this is where we're going to look at the character's reaction so we want to look at what carlos did what he said what he thought and what he um felt okay so let's look at our story you can look back in the story if you need to some of you may remember but it's always good to look back Okay, so remember it said it was Carlos's turn and he almost didn't take it. At the last minute, he took the bat and walked up to the pinata. He completely missed the pinata on his first try and he waited for his cousins to laugh at him, but they cheered him on. So he took a swing and what happened? He actually cracked open the pinata. So I'm sure after he cracked open the pinata, his cousins were probably really cheering him on because they were getting that candy then. So let's look at the different actions that he had. So let me, I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down because there's a couple things I need to type here and I want to make sure I have room. So he almost didn't. He swung the first time and missed. What did he do when he missed? That's right. He waited for his cousins. I don't know why I keep putting a G on the end of that. His cousins to laugh. But they didn't, did they? He waited for his cousins to laugh. He swung a second time. And what happened when he swung a second time? He cracked open the pinata. Okay, did it say how he felt about it? No, it didn't really say anything that he said either. So for this one, it mostly just showed his actions. All right, friends, you did a great job. Thanks for your help. So today you are going to do the same thing that I just did. So you are going to be reading a story today called Taking the Reins. And it's about the Oregon Trail, which we just learned about in our Westward Expansion. So you are going to read the story, Taking the Reins. You're going to identify the character and setting of the story. You're going to identify the character's problem. Or remember, what's the other word we said for problem? A challenge. So his problem or his challenge. And then you're going to tell about the character's reaction or response. So you're looking at how the character thought, how the character felt, things the character said, or what the character did. You may not have all four of those parts. You may only have one, you may have three, or you could have all four. All four of those are what we are looking for, but if you only have one out of the four, that's okay. Just make sure you include that into how the character solved the problem, into the reaction. All right, friends, great job today. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you when I see you. Bye.